Shalom. I am Rabbi Michael Panitz of Temple Israel of Norfolk, Virginia, speaking to you from the pulpit of the congregation. Today is January 27th, the International Holocaust Remembrance Day. My talk at this time is entitled, What's the Real Obscenity Here? Aren't you relieved, you good citizens of McMinn County, Tennessee? Thanks to your school board, as of now, your eighth graders will not have to see any cartoon images of nudity, nor be exposed to the word B-I-T-C-H. Last night, the 10 board members voted unanimously to remove the graphic novel, Mouse, from the eighth grade curriculum in the county public schools. I suppose that once the board members had concluded their vigorous bout of virtue signaling, they were able to retire to a late supper. Perhaps they dined on bosom of chicken. I hope that the tables where they ate were properly covered in long tablecloths so that none of their hormonal middle school children would see legs of the table and be misled into having the kinds of thoughts that eighth graders tend to have anyway. We should conduct a longitudinal study to see if next year's eighth graders in Athens, Tennessee and its environs are more blissfully unaware of the vulgar meaning of that noble word that when properly used denotes the female of the canine species. Wouldn't the world be so much better? I've worked with seventh and eighth graders for over 40 years. I have a fair sense of what they know about the birds and the bees and when they know it. Truly, I would be astounded if the children whose tender ears the board members have just protected are so sheltered that the images and vocabulary in mouse would surprise, let alone destabilize them. Can it be that the kids in Athens, Tennessee are so much more pure and prelapsarian than the smart aleck kids in the Northeast and in Tidewater, Virginia, I've known for all these decades? Or perhaps something else is going on, more related to the ideological agendas of parents than to the realities of what children know and when they know it. For those who are not familiar with mouse, the subject of this latest nadir of hear no evil censorship, the cartoon and graphic novel artist, Art Spiegelman, wrote and inked Mouse in order to recount the true story of his father's suffering during the Holocaust. Spiegelman told it in the genre of his artistry, the graphic novel. It is testimony to the supreme ugliness of human behavior in which Nazis treated fellow humans who happened to be Jews as vermin. It is the story of the depths of depravity to which people can sink and to which they truly did sink 80 years ago. The graphic novel is gritty, but the grit is in service of telling the truth. Of course, the board members will insist that they do not intend to prevent the students in their school district from learning about the Holocaust. Pardon me if I'm not fully reassured. We're in the midst of a culture war in America, and activist parents have opened a front in this war 
in local school boards across the country. They do not want the public schools dealing with certain aspects of American history or world history. This reminds me of a tour of a slave plantation I was treated to outside of Charleston, South Carolina in 2006. The local docent told our group three times that the slaves only worked until early in the afternoon. One o'clock, I remember him saying. And then they had plenty of time to tend their own chickens. Slavery in the rice and indigo plantations really wasn't so bad. Certainly not as bad as the outsiders tried to make it. The real crime against humanity, he said this three times also. In fact, the only one he wanted to talk about was what Billy Sherman did, burning the place down. The way he spoke, I'm surprised that his own great-great-grandpappy didn't willingly change places with the slaves. So carefree as they were, so merry, so fond of singing, so grateful to their kindly masters. It's as pretty as a picture. Specifically, the picture show, Gone with the Wind. Perhaps I'm putting two and two together and coming up with five. But I can't help feeling that the same people who want our kids not to hear about how bad slavery was are also in the camp of those who don't want our kids reading a gritty graphic novel about the Holocaust. Since the watchword of the school board was to be on guard against obscenity, let me leave you with a final question. What's the true obscenity here? A few words that kids play with until the frisson of saying something transgressive wears off? Or the Holocaust and those who want to minimize its horrors? What's the true obscenity here? As it happens, today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day selected because it is the anniversary of the day when the Soviet army liberated Auschwitz. Last night, the McMinn County School Board certainly did not side with the liberators. We can't bring the victims back. For God's sake, let's keep them from being forgotten. Amen.